everyone. This is PhD Natural Me. Welcome back to my channel. Those that are new, thank you for stopping by. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe. Today I'm going to actually be doing crock pot spaghetti squash. My last video I said I was doing spaghetti squash. It wasn't spaghetti squash. But someone asked me to do this and I am doing it. So very, very simple. The same things that you need for any of your squashes that I've cooked. You need a squash. You need some tongs for later, not for now when it's done. You need a knife to poke some holes in the spaghetti squash and your crock pot. So what I do, I wash this off, actually wash it off, just to make sure it's all no dirt or anything like that. Take the label off. Dry this off. Make sure it's nice and clean. They're usually okay. And then take your squash, sit it on the counter for safety. Poke some holes. You don't need that many, but go around. And then take it, put it off, and just sit it in your crock pot. Now I have two crock pots this size here and then a two and a half quart. So this works for my spaghetti squash. And all you do is just put it in there and you put it on low or high. Low is about four hours, high is about two to three. So it's early in the morning. I'm just going to uh, leave it on low, and if it's taking more than two, or like four hours, then I'll turn it up, but usually it doesn't. So either one you want to do. I just prefer low. So I will be back when it's done. Hi, everyone. I'm back. It's been four and a half hours, and I actually turned it up to high maybe about an hour ago. So... I'm going to tip this down and make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Turn this off. Plug it. And you need a knife. I forgot. I got two because I'm not sure which one will be easier to use. And a fork to scrape. And if it's too heavy to lift, use your fork to help. Okay, nice and soft. I like to put water in the crock pot so it doesn't burn. Okay. It's easier for me to cut that off because it bites. Tray. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay. Make sure you can see this. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, you want to scrape the seeds out of here. Just the seeds. Okay. 
then the spaghetti portion of it, actually I'm going to use this as my collect tray. The spaghetti portion of it is as you're scraping. I don't know if you can see that. See, it kind of looks like spaghetti. So you scrape all that with a fork. And then you have spaghetti squash. Oh, wait a minute. That's still seeds. <laughs> Now, oh, I'm so quiet, I forgot. Spaghetti squash, one cup. It says on the computer one cup cubed is seven grams, but it's not cubed. It's just one cup or about 100 grams is seven total carbohydrates. I don't know how much is in this. I'll weigh it later. Okay, you might see this. Seeds. And scrape all the way to the base. All that yummy goodness. Da -da -da. And you can put butter on this, salt, pepper, or cinnamon, some maple extract. I just like it with the butter, salt, and pepper. I haven't tried it with um, Alfredo sauce. That might be silly. might be interesting. Okay, that is it. Well, that's all that I'm gonna attack. So it's a good, it's a good amount, and you can freeze it. Freeze as well. squash 100 grams seven carbs butter it up enjoy not all this stay healthy keep eating keto bye